Here, relax. Would you? <laughs> What's that, James? CBD gold joint. That's what it is. <laughs> Anything I touch these days turns to gold. <laughs> James, what happened? The mood's changed with you and Carl. Um, is this all stemming from how he reacted to how your injury went down? Is that is it mostly to do with that, the way he reacted to that news? It's the only what it's down to. Do you know what I mean? Go at me personally, I'll come for you personally. And that's just the way it is, do you know what I mean? He's fake injuries and fake that and all this bullshit. I had my first fight 10 years ago. I've, I can't even, I don't know how many fights I've got. I come from the fucking north, me. I don't back out of nothing, ever. Do you know what I mean? Don't insult me like that. So that's where that came from. You're more used to that kind of uh, dynamic between you and your opponent ahead of fight, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. Do you think that, that, that will suit you in the lead up of this fight? 100%. Month? That's where I, I, I get comfort and confrontation, and no one else does. And I, I find comfort in it, and yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, just going to be different. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, that is, so I get comfort in situations where people get on edge and stuff like that. So if you need, you're all right, champ. Um, uh, so I just get, everyone gets tensed up and he gets flustered and they go, oh, how many fight was where I don't, I just be chilled. So, is, so if you want to go, go like that, then let's do it, do you know what I mean? So that's just the way I'm with it, but he's later on, I'm going to go and fight him, do you know what I mean? And that's, that's, that's different with like the Mike Kimball situation and stuff like that. It's, Step in the line when you speak about my family, but he's borderline it. He's borderline it. Still in injury, gents, or he's feeling out? Great, so I'm, I'm going to be back training the next two weeks. So I'm in the pool for about the last three weeks, I would say. I've been just in the pool, uh, like swimming and that kind of thing. And uh, so now I'm looking forward to getting back hitting the bag and stuff. Hopefully this week hitting the bag, and then hopefully like the light training next week. And then I'll be flat at it. Then hopefully a good 10 week camp. We asked, uh, we asked Calder earlier on uh, about fighting in Dublin, obviously in the fight mm -hmm. to London now, and he said he was maybe a little bit disappointed because he wanted to feel that atmosphere. For you, I know you've felt the atmosphere obviously a lot of times in Dublin, but are you a little bit disappointed it's not happening in Dublin? 100 percent this is my place, you know what I mean? This is where I love to fight, this is my show, this is, do you know what I mean? And no, it's not. Do you know what I mean? I'm absolutely heartbroken, but no better person to go and take it on board than Leah. Do you know what I mean? Go in there and grab that opportunity and go and own it. Do you know what I mean? She hasn't picked my place. Everyone's like, oh, she's took James's place. What is she fuck? <laughs> Don't dare insult that woman. She hasn't picked my place. She owns this. This is her. She went and made this happen for herself. She didn't just slip in there and take my place. Do you know what I mean? So I seen that online and I was like, don't, don't dare insult her like that. Do you know what I mean? She owns this. She deserves it. She's put herself out there and she deserves opportunity. And she's going to go out and grab it with two hands. And I'm looking forward to seeing it unfold for her. Do you think there's a big impact with you pulling from the card? Like, I mean, when you, when you think about it in the grand scheme of things, I know you've been very supportive of Leah, but I mean, what kind of impact does it have to have the biggest star, the kind of guy that's mechanized most of the brand, taken away from the event? Yeah, yeah, no. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I, I'm not taking anything away from anyone. Do you know what I mean? It's up to you. I, and I, or I wouldn't give anyone anything. Me being on it, I'm not giving anyone else anything, and me being off it, I'm not taking anything away. It's, it's up to the individual fighter. Do you know what I mean? It's the same way I go out there on my own, walk out on my own and try and take over the whole show. Do you know what I mean? So now it's up to them. Do you know what I mean? So they shouldn't let, let that. Do you know what I mean? If I was, say the main event pulled out and I had to go up, I'd go out there and own that and make sure that it doesn't change nothing. So that's on that's on them. Do you know what I mean? I hope it doesn't. I hope they can grab that and go out and take it. And I, I think they will. Do you know what I mean? I'm looking forward to seeing all the people and all my boys and Leah and everyone go out there. and have the time of their lives tomorrow night and I'm absolutely heartbroken that I'm not there myself but I, I can't be better towards that. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm injured. That's the way it is. I'm going to have my opportunities. I'm going to create my opportunities. I'm going to go again. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm actually buzzing just being here. Do you know what I mean? It's everyone like, no. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's kind of like a silver lining because there seems to be every time this fight falls out, it becomes far more interesting to all the people, you know what I mean? It feels like it's a bigger casualty every time. Yeah. Have you noticed that as well, like the interest picking up for this fight? I feel like anytime I really go to do anything, it's like, boom, it's just bigger and bigger and bigger each time. And now it's just, it's mad, it's mad got, and I'm just chilling, yeah, I'm having a buzz with it, do you know what I mean? I'm 23, I'm, only, I'm having fun, do you know what I mean? I don't take nothing too seriously. and. Just enjoying it all and having a roll with it and 
just I take pride in it as well. Do you know what I mean? I do take pride in it, and I'm happy that I've done it. And I'm, I can be cocky about it as well. But you have to just step, step back and look at it all. Do you know what I mean? Just look at it all unfold and roll with it and enjoy it. And that's just what I'm doing. And things are so much better when you just do that. Do you know what I mean? Take nothing, take everything with a pinch of salt, and just roll with it all. And I'm very grateful to be in the position that I'm in. I, I can support me and my family financially and I'm just living the dream. So living my dream and I'm very grateful to be able to do that. Jim, this week uh, the UFC announced obviously are coming back to Dublin and the speech said and everyone's probably saying about you, you're kind of leading the way for the Irish fighters in Bellator. Do you see yourself having a bit of like a responsibility to kind of win that fight that may be going on over the next couple of years between the UFC and Bellator in this region? No, I fight for me. So uh, yeah, I fight for me and that that's that. But I guarantee I will be the biggest straw to make that feud happen. So I will, that's for sure. But it's all just for me. I'm not there to make Beltar bigger than the... Uh, that's not me. But I will do that. That will happen. And I'm very confident that that will happen. But it's not my kind of goal. Do you get me? My goal is just to be, get big for me. I'm not trying to get big to make them bigger than that promotion or them bigger than this promotion or whatever. I'm there to make Shrivanimal Limited brand bigger. And that's that. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just happy that Belter have given me the opportunity to be able to do that for them and for me. But I'm just being selfish with it and doing it for me. James, uh, with the injury, was there a bit of a... Was there something to be learned from going through that and realising that you really had to listen to your body and not take a fight to win when you're compromised and yeah. considering your longevity? Yeah, I don't need to. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm in a position now where I don't really need to just fight for money, I don't need to fight for money, I don't need to do anything anymore for the sake of doing it. Do you know what I mean? Anything that I do, any move that I make has a reason. Do you know what I mean? I'm j I just don't do things anymore for just because I want to do it. Do you know what I mean? It has to have a foolproof plan. It has to have the outcome, if it's a positive or a negative, I have to have options. So I think about all this before I even step in there, what's my, what's 10 steps next? And I always think about this before I do any like uh, decisions in my career. Was it hard though? Uh, like I saw you in the gym, and I knew there was something that yeah, wasn't quite right. Yeah. You were hiding your hoodie up. You were in the corner, yeah. and usually you're on mats yeah. all day long. And now, was that really hard? Feeling like you couldn't bring it yourself. Uh, you know, or else the news yeah. would have got out. Yeah, heartbroken. So this, I was. As everyone's like, oh, he pulled out. No, I was a month trying to get into the gym, trying to get myself going, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. And the coaches were like. The fight's in three weeks, you haven't trained. I went to Birmingham for a training camp and came back and my back was fucked up and I couldn't train for them amount of weeks, do you know what I mean? Very like, fake injuries this. I was went and spent fucking nearly 10,000 quid on a fucking few weeks training camp. Do you know what I mean? Why, what the fuck would I do? Why, why would I pull out? Do you know what I mean? I can't below fighting anyone. Does this experience help you in the long run? Oh, to, to 100%, to your body? 100% it will. And, I'm just young and I always have something to learn, do you know what I mean? And people are always trying to rush me, my life's in the public eye now, do you know what I mean? Since I've been young and they're seeing me grow, do you know what I mean? Since they're my mistakes, if I make one mistake, I got the whole fucking world trying to take me down, do you know what I mean? So imagine trying to live every day that in a position where you learn from mistakes, but I can't make a mistake because the whole world's going to criticise me. It's a fucked up thing, but I love it. I fucking love it, do you know what I mean? Go for it. Criticise me on my failure and wait to see when I rise back to the fucking very top and we'll see what happens then. James, talk me through the tracksuit. The money man. The money man. It's fire, isn't it? <laughs> Steve, nice one. Dave mentioned, Dave Green mentioned that Bellator will probably be returning to Dublin um, at the end of the year. Yeah. Can we expect to see the Jimmy Show back? 100% so it is definitely. Um, uh, we'll just see what happens. I, I'd like Sergio Pettis for Dublin. So I would, that's, that's what I want in Dublin at the end of the year, Sergio Pettis. So go get Cal out of the way, maybe one more in between, and then Sergio Pettis at the end of the year would be a nice scalp for me. You, you mentioned as well that training camp out Renegade that you did do. Yeah. Can you talk a bit about that and why you chose to go there? And 100, because how I, started, how I even came to like Dublin to train when I was 13 years old. When I was up home, up north training and all, I was like, getting in trouble as a kid. And <laughs> Sorry, I've been... Dying with flu all week. I'm very sorry. Um, uh, it's all that CBD. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I went to Birmingham to train just randomly. My dad took me for my birthday, and I, I met Leon and all them boys. And they were like, "Oh, SBG this," and oh, tell me all about the gym. 
and then I went back over and didn't have any contact with them. And it's like now they've just got climbed up and then now I'm here and I'm going like, I went there when I was a kid. Do you know what I mean? So then I was like, I'm just going to go back and we've got the same management and all. And I swear to God, I, I just thought that uh, Leon and Fabian and stuff were good. I thought they were good until I went and trained with them. Them boys are, they're going to take, they're going to take over the world. So uh, yeah, I have faith that they're going to be world champions this year, Leon and Fabian, and they've got a good team there, killers as well. And I was very thankful for their hospitality and their training and stuff, they're high, high level guys. and. They're, they're going to have a huge year, a huge year, so they are, so it was good. James, um, you, you've got one L on your record, yeah. and the guy is fighting here tomorrow night against a teammate here. What are your feelings on that, and um, you know, that's what we like to look at it. Yeah, he's fighting France, good scrap. Um, uh, it's a hard fight, it's a hard fight for both. Um, I think France might knock him out, so I can see that, but... It's a loss for me, an L for me. Yeah, it was a learning, learning, learning yeah, curve. Absolutely. That's what that's what that L is. Was a learning curve, and it uh, blew me up to become one of the biggest fighters in the whole promotion. I went after that fight. Yeah. I went straight on to six-figure paydays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These people are still in the same positions. Yeah. Speaking to Ricky yesterday, he said he'd love to fight you in Dublin. That's of really like course he here. would. <laughs> of course he fucking would. Do you know what I mean? I'm. It's like weird that people that beat me want to fight me again. That shows my progression. Nothing else to say on it. There's only one. Do you know what I mean? Thanks, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for on. Thank you, James. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you very much, Oliver.